Report, Sherry Hanley, Jordan Price. Y'all know who Sherry Hanley is. And Sherry, tell us just a little bit about Jordan before we get to talking to her about what her expertise is here. Well, Jordan is a member of our Lindley family, Team Lindley, yay. Um, she is actually in our therapy unit, uh, does an amazing job. She's kind of like the class clown. Uh, she's, okay. she's a lot of fun to be around. The residents love her and they have so much fun with her. And uh, I'll let Jordan kind of tell us, everybody, what she does here and how much fun we have yeah. here. Right, before we get into that, tell us a little bit about you. Tell us about where you're from, where you okay. grew up, graduated, tell us a bit about education, so on and so forth. Tell okay. us a little bit about you. Well, I grew up in Wynn. I'm from Wynn originally. Grew up there, born there, everything. Went to high school there. Uh, went to school in Jonesboro. Started, didn't really know what I was going to do, so it took me a little bit to get going. <laughs> but then I ended up going to A State's a physical therapist assistant program and graduated there last May. Why physical therapy? Why not? Yeah, that's you a know, good. That's a good it. answer. I absolutely love it. I get. I enjoy getting to help these people get back to their optimal level, get back to where they need to be, and it's just. It's one of the most rewarding things that you can do. To see oh, let me ask you this. Did you know that? or did you, I mean, when did you know you wanted to, do, number one, be in physical therapy, and number two, want to work in a nursing home? Well, I knew that I wanted to do physical therapy whenever I worked as a, a personal trainer at 10 Fitness. Yeah. And I started having some, some geriatric clients. I never really knew that I wanted to do it exactly, but then I went through, got into the program, and we get to do different clinical settings. So I went to an outpatient clinic, I went to a peds okay. clinic, and then I ended up being in a nursing home. And I was scared to death of being in a nursing home. It, really? It, it, it just, it, it, it terrified me. And then I got there and I cried when I left. It was a really? five week rotation and I did not want to leave. Is that right? Yep, and I was like, all right, no kids, nothing else. I want to go to geriatrics. Wow. And how uh, how long have you been here, and how did you get here? How did you get at Lindley? Well, I've been here since last July. Okay. Last July, middle of July. Okay. And it was just, I had just taken my boards, gotten the news that I passed up, passed my boards, and uh, that was a party in itself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but then I, I got an email that was saying, you know, hey, we're looking for, uh, we have a spot here. Do you think, you know, you want to be a part of the team? Came in, interviewed, loved it, been here ever since. Tell me a little bit about what you actually do on a day-to-day -day basis. What, what's it like on a day-to-day -day basis here at Lindley in the physical ther okay. therapy department? Well, most of us get here probably, I get here around 6 in the morning. Um, usually I try to time what time I get here and what time I leave with the 6 to 2 shift. Okay. Um, because they, they're getting up in the mornings if they ever need help getting up. We go in there and we help them get up. If people are awake from from about six to seven, we have an hour to where we can, you know, work with the early birds. There's always some people that want to come in and drink their coffee and do their therapy and get done. Then during the, we have, you know, during the morning we work with absolutely anybody that has therapy, you know, and do any kind of balance exercises, any kind of just general strengthening, working on getting in and out of the bathroom, in and out of the shower, whatever we need to do. Generally speaking, when you're talking about your patients and being in a nursing home, and I know you do a short term and long term, mm -hmm. and uh, are the folks generally receptive to to the therapy? Do they enjoy the therapy? Yes, we. You know, every once in a while we get somebody that's just kind of like, "Man, I'm tired. I don't want to do it." Sure. You know, and th and that takes a little bit of finagling your way to figure out how to work with each person. But yeah, mostly mostly everybody it loves it. Once they're here for about a week, it takes them about a week, and they're like, oh, what are these people doing? And then it's like, okay, all right, we're good, let's go. And then it makes them feel better yes. once they get into the routine. Oh, they yeah. feel so much better. Oh yeah, I mean, the routine is key. Getting you know, if we if you work with somebody every day at six, you work with them at six. If you work with somebody every day every day before lunch, usually you need to work with them before lunch. If not, their whole day. I, so. It sounds to me like you just have a blast <laughs> doing your job. I absolutely love it. People tell me that, you know, whenever I talk about my job or whenever I tell them what I do, they're like, well, what do you, well, you sound like you're having so much fun. You know, what do you, what do you actually do? And I kind of go into the spiel I just told you. But they, if you don't love what you do and you don't look forward to getting up every day and going to your job, it's, you're working. I'm not working. I, that, love it, I like so. that. I like that. I love it. Tell me a little bit about the Lindley family. Tell me how you feel about the Lindley family. Ever since I started working here, I started working here in July. I, you know, it was my first job out of college, and I was absolutely nervous. I was so nervous because I'm like, okay, I kind of know. I know what I need to do. I know how to do it. But you know, it's just it's kind of still getting in the groove of things. But 
I can't imagine working anywhere else. Everybody here is like, it, it's like a family. You know, you, I know everybody's name now. Mm -hmm. It took me a while, but right. I know everybody's name from CNAs to nurses all the way up to administration. I know uh, everybody here will say hi. Everybody here will work together and get just anything that needs to get done, we get it done. And we get it done and we have fun at the same time. Yeah, no doubt so. about it. But before we get out of here, I want you to introduce us to what looks like <laughs> a stuffed puppy down here. And this is actually not a stuffed puppy. This is a beautiful little puppy. Tell me about this puppy. This is Boog, and he is my puppy dog. He is my fur child. And uh, he is so just, he has such a docile temperament. He is a corgi and an Australian shepherd mix. Wow. And if you have a ball in your hand, he will he will go, he will throw it, or you will throw it until your arm falls off. Because hey, buddy. Because he will go get it. He's so docile, and he just loves to come to work with me. You know, he's never been through any kind of formal training, but you come in here and you know he's a therapy dog. Sherry, I think y'all have done okay with this hire at Lindley. I we think have. this young lady's going to do wonderful things, not only for Lindley, but certainly for the residents. For the residents. And the residents, they absolutely love Jordan. They love everyone in our therapy department. And they love Boog. Uh, and he loves them too. Oh yeah, he definitely loves it. He loves it here. Well, Jordan, we appreciate you taking time to visit with us today. Sound to me like the physical therapy department here is, that's where it's going on right here. That's the happening place. Lindley Health and Rehab, if you need our services, you can call, you can come by, you can come visit with us, and I promise you, you'll always see a happy smile here at Lindley. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you.